In the beginning scene of the film, we see a vast barren land, which was a source of income for many people a few years ago. On the other hand, a boy named Jerome narrates that he has never seen that land green. But his father Ernest says that he saw that land green. A few years back farmers used this land for farming to grow wheat and other grains. However, after drought struck the land, not a single plant has been able to grow. Most of the farmers abandoned that place, however, Ernest was still optimistic about the fertility of this land. Ernest believed that some water is required to cultivate his land. The need for water made people kill anyone in that area. On the other hand, we see two thieves trying to break the door of a small room. Ernest notices them and shoots them instantly without any hesitation. When Ernest opens the door he sees an old water pump over there. When he tries to use that pump, it doesn't work because there was no water underneath that could be pumped by the motor. Later on both, Ernest and Jerome go to water dealers as there was a single well from which the water flows. People who pull out the water from these wells are called water dealers as they get a contract from the government to supply the water. Ernest requests the water dealer to give him a small amount of water for the cultivation of a little piece of his land. Waterman declares that he would supply water to Ernest, but he has to pay a heavy amount. But Ernest doesn't have enough money to pay him. Later Jerome and Ernest leave for their home. On the way, their mule's leg gets fractured, Ernest without any hesitation kills it along the way. As they reach home, we notice Jerome's sister Mary serving them food. Due to water scarcity, we notice her cleaning the dishes with soil. The next day we watch both Jerome and Ernest visiting Sam Lever's auction house for buying something which can replace the animal which used to carry their luggage. They find a robotic carrier called Sim at that place. There were many people to buy that robot but Ernest wins the auction against Flem who happens to be the son of Sam. They too go to meet Jerome's ailing mother Catherine. Here we notice Catherine walking as a wire was attached to a special frame. As it was very expensive to buy that frame, they could not bring her home. For that reason, she was still in the hospital. Jerome spends his time with his mother. Later, they leave for the home. While going to their home they both stop at a gas station. Here we notice Ernest taking a gulp of petrol after filling his vehicle. The two meet a couple with a young baby, asking for water. Further, the father of the baby Roby wants to sell their baby as they do not have enough money to nourish him. But, Ernest advises him not to sell their baby. He also offers him some water. Roby informs Ernest about the secret relationship of his daughter with Flem. Later, Ernest inquires her daughter about the relationship. She confesses everything and she despises him for ending her freedom. Seeing her behavior Ernest gets enraged and locks her in the room. He even seals the windows of her room. One day they notice their robot missing from the shed, they think that someone could have stolen their robot. Ernest suspects that their robot could be stolen by Flem and goes to his house and inquires with his father Sam. On the other side, the watermen capture Ernest and punch him hard as they suspect that Ernest might have stolen their water supplies. When Ernest awakes, it was already night. He declares to the waterman that he has not stolen those water supplies. But those people don't believe him and start beating him badly and they both start to fight. Finally, Ernest successfully takes his rifle and points his rifle at the waterman and succeeds to flee from there. While returning home, Ernest watches Flem sleeping on the road with Sim by his side and he understands that Flem has stolen the machine and also the water supplies. Ernest makes him hostage and takes him to waterman to prove his innocence. On their way, Flem and Ernest get thirsty. Flem suggests taking water out of those supplies. While they were drinking water, Flem requests Ernest to set him free so that they can divide the money between them. But Ernest rejects his offer and continues walking. After walking for a while Ernest feels exhausted and starts to collapse. Sensing the opportunity Flem throws a stone at Ernest. Bleeding starts in his head and he dies. Later Flem visits Ernest's daughter Mary. They both greet each other and leave from there. Jerome upon his father's delay gets anxious. He leaves the home to search for his father, but on the way, he finds his robot. After going a little ahead, he comes to know that his father has died. 
Jerome informs about his father's death to Waterman. Everyone considers his death may be caused by that machine. Later we notice, Flem, entering their life. Now he becomes the head of their family. When Jerome furiously thrashes the machine for his father's death, Flem comes and cools him down. Later Flem tells him that Mary is pregnant with his child and wants to marry her. Jerome accepts their relationship. Flem meets the waterman and asks him to supply water for Ernest's land. On hearing his idea he laughs. Flem accuses him that he has killed Ernest. Now he threatens the waterman by showing his knife that was found with Ernest's dead body. Waterman with fear agrees with his words and supplies water to his farm. As the water flows everyone becomes happy. Flem works day and night to cultivate that land. A few months later, they are fully grown and everyone was happy. Flem marries Mary and lives with them in the same house. In the next scene, a few people come to Flem and declare that Ernest has not repaid his debt. They threaten to confiscate the land if the loan is not repaid. Flem has worked hard for this land and he couldn't hand this over to anyone easily. But the amount was too heavy which Ernest has to repay to the bank. Now, he has to arrange that money at any cost. Flem visits his friend, Robbie, as he knows that he had intended to sell his baby. He convinces Robbie to come to his home just to see how much the baby could be sold. However, when they reach his home, Robbie realizes that Flem had already secretly made a deal with those people to sell the baby. Flem shoots Robbie when he was refusing to give the baby, this causes a tussle between the dealers. However, Flem runs away with the money. During the conflict, the robot also receives some bullet shots, thereby activating its auto mode in its system and thereby making it return to the manufacturer. The next day, Flem repays the loan to the bank that he got by selling that baby. Jerome thinks that he has paid the bank by selling the robot as no one suspected his murder. In the next scene, we notice the robot near the border which was going towards its manufacturing company. Now Jerome receives a call about the robot's return to its company. Hearing this he gets worried, as Flem told him that he has sold the robot to Robbie. The same day Jerome inquires about the robot from Flem. But Flem gets furious upon hearing it. Noticing his anger Jerome becomes silent for a while. Later on, he states that he is going to meet his mom in the evening. Actually, his plan was something else. He wants to cross the border to reach the manufacturing company. Upon reaching the border, soldiers don't allow him to cross the border as he was young. He meets a girl who tells him that she will help him to cross the border in exchange for money. She sneaks him into a van filled with chickens and they meet again after crossing the border. When he reaches the company, he is shown all the features of the robot including CCTV footage, after watching it he gets to know how his father died. Jerome now knows his father was killed by Flem. While watching the video he gets emotional. In the evening he goes to the house but doesn't say anything to Flem. In the next scene, we notice them hunting deer, later Jerome hides his father's rifle under his bed. During the breakfast, Jerome tells Flem that Robbie is calling him, but Flem accuses him of lying as he already knows that Robbie is dead. The next day Flem receives a letter, which was written by Jerome in the name of Robbie. In the letter, it was mentioned that he has to come to the same place where he killed Ernest. Flum gets confused but decides to go there to check if Robbie is still alive. He leaves after greeting his wife, he goes to that place and calls Robbie loudly. Suddenly he falls into a ditch and breaks his legs. Jerome appears in front of him with a stone in his hand. Flem realizes that Jerome knows everything. He apologizes to him claiming it's just an accident. He points the rifle at Flem and shoots him dead. Later Jerome goes back home and sees his sister still waiting for her husband. 